Prince the producer. So if you guys couldn't tell by the title, today is my birthday, it's a special occasion. So I got my hair braided. So you can't really tell the true length because everything is crinkled. But I mean, you can still take a look. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is three years. This is three years of me patiently and diligently growing out my hair. And to anybody that's seeing this, I just want to give a few words of encouragement and advice. Do not give up on anything you're doing, even if it's just something as simple as hair. Because I remember three years ago when I'm first growing out my locks, started my journey. I remember my hair being about three years long. I remember people telling me things like, oh man, what the fuck are those? You should cut your shit. Those aren't real dreadlocks. It took me to maybe, I say, first year, no, maybe first eight months to a year for people to like, oh, okay, those are locks. When your hair is only a certain length, it's like people don't really acknowledge your hair. But the thing about that is, you don't need acknowledgement to succeed in your goals. Because when you first start doing something, it's always gonna be people who are like, man, you suck, stop doing that shit, you're gonna fail. It's always gonna be naysayers. But when I got to around to my two years mark, two and a half year mark, when I'm able to put my hair in ponytail and it's starting to go past my ears and all that, then people are gonna be like, oh man, your hair is really growing. You really doing this shit, bro. Oh yeah, I like that. That's when all the fake shit comes. Now that my hair is around three years and I can style and I can do so much different shit to it, people are starting to notice, hey, who does your hair, Jalil? Who did this? How long you been growing out? Then that's when you get that attention. So if you first start growing your hair out, don't let anybody discourage you from what you're doing because it's a journey. I mean, it's in the name, lock journey. But I mean, it's a process. It's not gonna happen overnight. I see a lot of people that wanna grow their hair out. Say, oh man, I want, I want locks a little bit. They don't wanna take the time to wash their hair. They don't wanna take the time to buy the products that they need to put in their scalp. You know what I mean? They don't wanna you know, put anything in their hair before they go to sleep to make sure it doesn't get messed up. They don't want to take any precautions or anything that comes with it. And it, it's just not that easy. But I'm not trying to make it out like, you know, I just cure cancer or anything. I'm just saying, locks aren't for everybody. Don't ever stop trying to achieve your goals, whether it's physical, mental, uh, academic something as simple as growing out your hair do not give up and don't listen to when anybody tells you that you can't do only you know what your uh, personal limitations are not just when it comes to growing out hair I think everybody can relate to this on a personal level I think there comes a time in everybody's life where you know you got to think well damn what if I fail but the thing about it is you have to tell yourself that you're not gonna fail and the only way you can truly fail it is if you give up. And you can't let what anybody tell you to deter you. Another personal example is this very YouTube channel right here. When I very first started making videos, nobody was paying attention to my shit. I think I had like 12 subs. And I got 1,200 subs. People still don't pay attention to my videos as much as I would like sometimes. But guess what? There's always, you know, room for improvement. I'm not gonna stop making YouTube videos. I'm not gonna stop doing these videos. Keep doing these as long as I want to. Or for example, me and my boxing career. When I very first started taking boxing classes and teaching myself how to fight, things like that, a lot of people were like, man, Jalil has no coordination, he's retarded. You know, you can't do this and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm at the point where I have a license to fight and I'm taking this shit serious. So, you know, whatever it is that you want to do in life, man, do not listen to what anybody tells you. Only you know how far you're going to go. And on that note, anybody who watches this video, I want you to stay blessed. If you want to, my, you know, fellow people growing out their locks, man, don't cut your hair. Don't do anything like that.